Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today is Sunday, the 31st of January and I'm just on my way home from taking a walk and getting a few bits of food in and I'm here looking at the closed KFC store and there we have it. All the logos have gone. There's a to let sign on the top there and looking inside it is completely closed. For those KFC lovers, it's sad. There you go, and you can see inside there, and you can see that the restaurant is closed and completely empty. Well, it's not empty as in devoid of stuff, because you can clearly see from when I'm pointing the camera in that there still is indeed stuff inside the restaurant. But I mean, it's empty of branding and it's empty of stuff and it's clearly closed up. And if we take a look from this side, all the branding's gone off the side and that is the KFC that's in town that was previously on the side of the tower building many years ago that used to be the pancake house or as I used to call it when I was a kid that posh pancake place near the tower and they used to walk past sometimes and I'd look in through the windows and I would see people eating their fancy pancakes and I always wanted to go in and get one but I never got the chance to get one because back then we were a pretty poor family and if you actually had actual food that day to eat it was a good day so there wasn't anything left for treats in fancy pancake places near the tower there it is Blackpool Tower building itself and looking straight up there fantastic view of the old girl herself looking as majestic as ever inside HMV there they've got some interesting looking candy boxes there can you look there at Hershey's I bought some Hershey's today a box of 24 bars of that one there you see at the front there where it says peanuts and pretzels that is my favorite Hershey and I bought it off Amazon nice free prime delivery and I got 24 bars for £18. we still got those boxes there. For those of you that follow all my videos, you'll remember that I bought one of those just before Christmas and filmed the unboxing and the stuff I got inside was utter crap. It was just pretty much worthless to me. There you can see Primark door temporarily closed. I do miss Primark. That's one of those places that I do miss walking in. It's one of those shops where you just go for a good old browse and you don't actually plan on buying anything but you end up buying fuzzy socks and pyjamas and a new dressing gown maybe and just a nice dress that you've seen on a whim. Yeah, I do miss being able to buy my fuzzy socks. The town's pretty much all closing up now because it is Sunday and it's Sunday hours and a lot of town is closed anyway but on a Sunday we're still adhering to Sunday opening hours and that has nothing to do with any lockdown rules, that's just Sunday hours so the town will be closed anyway right now that's a good view of the old Sands Hotel or the new Sands Hotel I should say it's 
built over the old Sands building. Ground floor's going to have a Blackpool Museum inside and I'm actually looking forward to going in there. I really am. Nothing we can really see there because looks like the glass is mirrored unless I go really close up and put the camera there then you can sort of see inside it's about here that's a better view you can see inside there ah now I've just remembered somebody did tell me about that plaque up there so I'm going to cross over the road and see if it's up there and with it being higher up and me being short up is somewhere I'd often look so let's see if we can zoom in and read that plaque well I absolutely can't read it if I'm looking at it because I don't have my reading glasses on but hopefully when you see the video, you'll be able to see and read it if I just go in a bit closer. <laughs> Hopefully in the video, that'll be clear enough to read. I can see the bottom bit though where it says donated by CNA. Never noticed that before. Heritage Trail, the Borough Theatre. But I can't read the smaller item because it's just too small and I don't have my reading glasses on. But hopefully, you folks will be able to read it from the video. I'll probably be able to read it from the video when I can see it on my computer screen and when I've got my reading glasses on. Can we see inside TK Maxx there? That is also temporarily closed. And talking back about reading glasses, I lost my reading glasses for a while yesterday. Because as you know, I didn't go out yesterday or do any real filming because my infection was making me feel a little bit tired along with the antibiotics and the various jobs I had. It was making me feel a little bit tired so I stayed in but i wanted to do something so we had a massive big clear out and we've got this little room that's just off the kitchen it's not really a room it used to be a toilet but the toilet got taken out a few years ago so really it's just a bit of dead space and we tend just to store things in there like stuff you don't really want to throw away but you don't want hanging around your house so we would put it in there and there were things like old garden shears and tins of paint and random stuff and I found a random book of old CDs a random book a random box of old CDs all from the 80s and the 90s and stuff so I've given them to my sister well she can have them when it's safe to come down and collect them but yeah, I've told my sister she can have them and she seemed quite happy about that. But yesterday, because I spent the day clearing out that little room, when I went back to sit near my computer later on and do a bit of work on my channel, couldn't find my glasses. I just put them somewhere. Turns out they ended up, they were by the front door because I'd gone to answer the door, taken my reading glasses off and I'd left them by the door on the window ledge, but for about 20 minutes I was frantically looking for my glasses. And it wasn't a fun 20 minutes, because without my reading glasses, like that, I'm literally blind. Well, not blind as in zero vision, obviously, but I'm blind from the perspective. Can't see anything to read anything or watch anything. Oh, I am going to close this vlog off now. 
because it's going to run over 10 minutes. So I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. Please leave me with a like, maybe a comment and subscribe. And I shall see you all very soon in the next video. Goodbye.